Hello, continuing our mission to become the UK's most helpful piano shop, I'd like to answer some of the frequently asked questions that we get all about the Yamaha CLP795GP that you see behind me here. If in the list of questions I've got you can't hear the one that you wanted to ask, then just leave it in the comments section below and we'll get right back to you. Make sure you check out our other videos here on YouTube where we do demonstrations, comparisons, reviews, etc. And also check out the ePianos website for our big selection of new and used digital pianos, keyboards and organs. How does delivery work if I buy this piano? Uh, well, it's very simple. If you buy the piano from us here at ePianos, our own specialist team will deliver it to your home and set it up and fully install it for you. Uh, that includes taking away all of the packaging that comes with it because it is transported flat packed. But our chaps will set it up for you in your home all ready to play and take away the packaging at a convenient day and time for you. Incidentally, the piano being digital, it means it doesn't have strings in there or an iron frame. So it's much, much easier, thankfully for our delivery team, to move around. Um, once it's in your home, it's quite easy for two or three people to transport it around a room um, or indeed into different rooms if you need to. It's another reason why digital pianos are becoming so popular compared to traditional ones. Is it as big as a real grand piano? Um, well, that really depends on what you mean by real grand piano. A concert grand piano, the type that you might see on stage at the Royal Albert Hall, etc., is between eight and nine foot long. That, so that's very, very big. Um, probably wouldn't fit in your home anyway. Uh, the CLP795GP is only just over four foot long. So it's more akin to a small baby grand piano. So it captures the style of a grand piano, but it's at a size that's quite sensible for having in the home. Incidentally, if you like an idea of how this piano will look in your home, Yamaha have developed a very good app called Clavanova Spaces that you can download for free and it uses augmented reality for you to be able to get a very good idea of how this piano and the other ones in the range will actually look in your home amongst your decor. Uh, it's a good way of getting an idea of if the size is sensible and if the style and the finish is sensible for your uh, particular house. I'll put a link to my video all about the Clavanova Spaces app in the description below. What is the lid actually for? Um, well, basically the lid or the top on a grand piano like this is there to direct the sound from the inside where the strings are, or in this case the speakers, uh, out towards where the audience is sitting. If you watch a um, a pianist in a concert, they're usually sat sideways to the audience, um, not just so they can wave at them, but because that's how the grand piano needs to be arranged for the sound to be pushed out to the audience. And you don't always have to have the lid open, of course, if you're playing at home or with headphones, then it doesn't matter. Um, but the lid, if you're not playing it, the top should really be put down just to stop dust accumulating in there, but that's what it's for. Does this piano have piano style weighted keys? In other words, does it feel like a piano to play? And the answer is yes, definitely. Yamaha are widely regarded as being just about the best in the world at recreating the feel of a real concert grand piano with their digital pianos. And most people that come to our showroom do not know, cannot tell the difference between playing one of these and playing a traditional grand piano. The feel of the Yamaha CLP795 GP is very, very authentic. Will it go out of tune? No is the answer to this. This piano being digital means there are no strings in there and it is the strings that causes traditional pianos to go out of tune. Something will cause them to either tighten or slacken and change the pitch of the piano. With a digital piano there are no strings in there. The sound is digitally produced therefore there is nothing that can go out of tune on these pianos. You can alter the tuning However, if you need to, need to, using the controls in here, you can transpose it to a different key if you're playing with a singer that needs that to happen. Uh, and you can finally alter the tuning as well to match an orchestra or to match an instrument that doesn't quite get to concert pitch. But to reassure you, the minute you turn this piano on, it goes to a standard concert tuning and you can always reset it to that at the touch of a button if you need to.
What type of maintenance is required? Uh, this is a question that we get asked an awful lot about this type of piano and essentially they do not require any maintenance. It gets asked a lot this question because traditional pianos do require quite a bit of maintenance. There's the tuning of course which um, if it's played regularly it's always going to need and traditional pianos are very sensitive to the environment that they're in, particularly if the temperature is going up and down regularly. It can warp the uh, frame of the piano and cause the strings to slacken or tighten and knock it out of tune. Now digital pianos like this one uh, don't require any of that. As I said in the last question they don't go out of tune uh, and there's, there's no regulation that needs to take place on them. They essentially, like a lot of electrical appliances these days, plug and play. Plug it into the mains, turn it on and you're away, you're playing and you don't need to do anything to it. And it's yet another reason why digital pianos like this are becoming so popular compared to traditional acoustic pianos. Can I wear headphones with this piano? Uh, yes is the answer to that. Um, you can play with headphones with this piano. When you plug headphones in, the speakers cut out. So it allows you to play in silence so no one else can hear you while you're practicing. You can plug two sets in at once. So you can duet with somebody and both be wearing headphones, which is quite useful. Can I use Bluetooth headphones with this piano? Um, that's quite a common question. And the answer is yes, you can. Um, while it does have Bluetooth capability, it will not send a signal uh, to a Bluetooth headphone set. You'd need a third party transmitter for that, but we wouldn't recommend using Bluetooth headphones for playing anyway because there's a slight delay between you playing a note and the signal being sent via Bluetooth into your earphones and that does play havoc with your timing. So we do not recommend that you do that, but yes, in theory, it's possible to do so. Can I connect my Android device to the Yamaha Smart Pianist app? Uh, yes, you can do that now. Uh, iOS and Android is supported. If you don't know, the Yamaha Smart Pianist app is really worth a look. And we've done a video uh, that I'll put a link to in the description where we go over exactly what it does. But essentially, it's a way that you can control the um, sounds on this piano. You can play your own music through the speakers of the piano and it'll actually show you rudimentary music for it, sheet music for it too. There's all sorts of fun things you can do on it, including recording and saving your settings. Watch our video all about it. But yes, you can connect your Android device uh, to the piano for that app, as well as your iOS one. Can I change the tone of this piano? Uh, yes, you can certainly change the tone of this piano. Um, not only in the traditional ways of using the three pedals, which are there just as you found on a concert grand piano, but also, you are not limited to just one sound. Don't think of this as a traditional piano where you have just one sound. You can switch from the default sound, which is a Yamaha CFX Concert Grand Piano, to one of the world's other finest Concert Grand Pianos, the Bosendorfer Imperial Grand. And the character is totally different. It's a beautiful, warm, mellow sound. So you get two of the best grand pianos in the world built into this piano, plus a whole selection of other ones as well. So yes, you can change the tone of this piano quite dramatically. It's loads of fun to do. Well, I hope that was helpful for you. If the question that you wanted to ask uh, was not in that list, then just leave it written in the comment section below and we'll get right back to you. Or indeed, you can email us on the email on the screen or telephone us um, and ask us any time. Thanks very much for watching. Hope that was helpful. Bye for now.